Based Lifestyle Podcast. Use the power of discovering new habits to create success in all areas of life. One, fitness and nutrition. B, spirituality, passion, and purpose. Health, marriage, kids, and relationships. Business, marketing, sales, leadership, and systems. Transform your life by learning how habits work. And now your host, a husband, father, entrepreneur, trainer, coach, and warrior, Jesse. Welcome back to the Habit Based Lifestyle Podcast. I am your host, Jesse Ewell, and today I have a very, very beautiful, fun guest. <laughs> My loving wife, hot wife, hashtag uh, Katie. How's it going? It's going good. Yeah, so I thought today we would talk about the habit of F U N fun <laughs> f you yeah, yeah. i like it yeah so uh we were recording some videos for our uh por- program marriage hood and we got into a little argument over uh fun no that wasn't the argument well the argument was started <laughs> over um uh, you wanting to stop the video and me wanting to edit it uh and then that turned into uh me me not being fun <laughs> yep I just wanted a little more preparation for the video. Okay. so Kind so of like when we get ready for things, I need to get ready a little bit longer than you do. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so we can go have fun. So we can go have fun for sure. Yeah. So is there times in a marriage when I'm not very fun? Well, yeah. I think there's times in marriage when none of us are fun okay so what are some examples of that maybe some ways that we can talk about how we're not having fun in marriage and then well i don't know if i can really think of like a a specific example but i know that when you have fun in marriage and you let loose and you turn on music and especially at our event event you dance and you smile and it just releases i mean i think they're endorphins and they're it's just excitement and a smile and it just takes you to this whole nother land of fun. Okay. But let's stop. Let's talk about how, you know, a lot of the couples that we talk to and we may originally meet and even couples who haven't been into our program, uh, how they kind of forgot to have fun in a sense, um, you know, without maybe having some other things, but like, in general, it's like they're in survival. And so in their, when, when you're in survival, it's very hard to have fun in that place because kind of your number one thing that's happening there is you're just trying to survive. And life's kind of like happening to you instead of you creating uh, the life you want. But, um, you know, fun is something that we kind of have taken out of marriage sometimes. And it doesn't make it very fun. Well, and for me, when you're sharing that, I'm honestly thinking I am so focused on making fun for my kids, making creating fun around me that I forget to have fun myself, um, honestly. And so when I can when we do go to the park and I do get on the swing or I do put myself, you know, in the position of having fun instead of, you know, watching others have fun, it's huge sure and i think uh you know for some married couples out there is you know maybe the the wife is or the mom is you know working on giving her kids a bunch of fun maybe you know the dad is just focused on work and they're not focused on having fun together right um and kind of how i want to kind of segue into this is like we we have Uh, a date night that we go on usually once a week but we've also kind of instilled in our program this play date uh, that we go on to have fun as a couple and it may not necessarily be going out of the house it's just a date where we're going to have fun we're going to play sometimes it does have to do with sex other times it doesn't but like the whole point of it is to have fun right right yeah well and it's just i mean i even think 
I even think back to like you and smiling and you know a lot of times you're not super smiley and I'm like just smile and it just I mean the energy it releases and the fun and I mean yeah it just it's just fun. It shifts everything in marriage, even, I mean, even for families, you know, I think of like the dad coming home and regardless of how the day's gone or what's going on, it's like, I mean, if he walks in and turns on the music and starts dancing, I mean, it's fun. Yeah. So we, we were kind of in the middle of this argument <laughs> and, uh, it wasn't really going anywhere other than maybe deeper down the rabbit hole. And so I decided to do a little shift move and well, yeah, turn some music on and start dancing and having fun. And it kind of just changed up the energy and the argument. And all of a sudden all that went away and we decided to have fun. You even actually didn't want to have fun anymore. You're like, <laughs> okay, well I'm done. And I was like, well, I want to have fun. So let's now. keep going. Yeah. So yeah, but I think these are, these are important things. Cause as a couple, we forget to have fun. We forget to, you know, maybe we're focused on the kids having fun, but we're not focused on each other having fun. But at the end of the day, if we're not having fun, that rubs off on each other and on our kids. Right. And I, I mean, I think it only takes one of us really to spark that, to have fun, to laugh, to smile, to let loose, you know, and. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want a margarita? No, what are you talking about? I don't know. You're giving me the head nod like. <laughs> that means I want a margarita? Hey, you never know. <laughs> so I'm just trying to add a little fun to the podcast. Okay, so, well. Yeah, are you ready? So, I got some, well, I got some lemons downstairs. Okay, but anyway, but let's go back to marriagehood because I want to just touch on this a little bit because I truly we're shifting up some stuff in our marketing and whatnot and the event. And it was a lot of fun. And I think uh, so many of the couples like said that to us, like it was so awesome to see my husband dancing and just having fun and not caring and that space. And I just, yeah, I want to celebrate that. Oh, okay. I like to have fun. So contrary to your, no, you do. You were doing the worm. I wish we could find that video. Yeah, I think they uh, archived it. No. Yeah. Anyway, back to what we were saying is. Fun. F you. N. N. Fun. <laughs> Having like you have to have fun in marriage. Well, I think you have to have fun in life. So what to, are some ways in be, marriage you could. Well, what? hold on. I think you have to have fun to be connected to your spouse oh and, for sure and i think you know sometimes the circumstances we get into is everything becomes so serious yeah. everything becomes hey there's this survival of i'm constantly thinking about my wife nagging on me or i'm constantly thinking about my husband being at work too long that i can't ever get out of that thought and so i spend all my time thinking about that stuff or thinking about what time I got to go home, I don't ever think of, man, how could I show up home differently and maybe have some fun? Or what are some things that we could do that are fun? And, you know, we used to do this a lot with the kids is we'd play games one night a week uh, where it was fun, but it got like super competitive. And it was just fun to, to be able to do that. And it was just basic games like Uno, uh, last night we played Connect Four. Connect Four with Jocelyn. Well, and just to hear them laugh, and I, for me, it's not even that place of what's that word you keep using? Um, getting um, survival. Survival. Yeah, it's not. It's not that necessarily for me. It's just. It's just the day, how it goes and what you're doing. And, and it's like you're, you're laser focused on what's next as a mom, whether it be dropping off the kids, packing the lunch, doing the homework, whatever. And it's like, oh my God, let's have a fun break. Let's have a break for five minutes and have fun. Okay. So on this fun break, let's yes. talk about how you do that with the kids. Oh my God. They'd all get up and we'd turn on music and we would just dance. Okay. And you'd scream out loud and like. I'd be like, well, I'd probably make a game out of it. Okay. I, you know, what, whatever it was like, so maybe I'd turn the music up really loud and we'd all be dancing and then we'd have to freeze. 
And I mean, Jocelyn half the time falls on her bum and then she's laughing and they're laughing. And it's just, I mean, it's contagious. And then how would you do that if with your spouse? Well, like I did to you today, I told you you're not fun. And if I challenge you, you're up for a challenge. And then you're like, oh, shit. Like, OK, I'm going to be fun. So I would challenge you to be fun, probably. OK, say. so that's that's <laughs> BS. Number one. Uh, so why don't you come up with a real reason, a real way you could have fun? Um. Well, maybe I'd say, well, just like you were doing, like pick me up and like twirl me around. Maybe I'd say, give me a piggyback ride and see how many squats you can do. Or I would, I don't know. Really, I think it's just creating that moment of getting out of where you are and putting yourself in this place of. So it's just kind of shifting up the energy of the moment into laughter. I kind of think of fun as like moving around it's hard to have fun when you're standing still or you're sitting down definitely like it's nearly impossible to have fun if you think about it sitting down so the first thing you got to do is stand up probably move around you know maybe it's dancing maybe it's you know touching each other maybe it's like wrestling maybe it's <laughs> you know what other. i mean think about it like when you touch each other like it's fun if you're like tickling <laughs> I'm going to tickle okay, you okay, and, good. uh, and then we're going to have some fun. Yeah. Well, what's another way? Uh, you know, have some margaritas. No, would you stop? <laughs> Come on. Uh, well, I just gave an example. I'd like another one. Okay. Um, we go to the park, you know, we play tag tag or, you know, I push you on a swing. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. Or baseball. Yeah. Or we go outside and we play, you know, sports or whatever. Yeah. Tackle football. Yeah, tackle football. <laughs> I'll uh, tackle you. <laughs> anyway, How about you play center and I'll play the quarterback? I don't even know the positions. Okay. I just want to I know do the, the positions. hike the ball. Yeah, that's what uh, center is. Center hikes it to the quarterback. And then the quarterback throws it or runs with it. Yep. And then at what? And then touchdown. Yep. And then and we then celebrate. Dance. Yeah, and then we dance. <laughs> okay, so fun is an important part of your relationship. If you haven't had fun in a while... Um, you could take your wife on millions of date nights, but if you haven't had fun, uh, you may be missing out on something more. And if your date nights are not having an impact on your relationship, it may be time for you to have fun. I can remember, I remember going to a comedy club. Oh. Uh, that was actually pretty fun. And that was kind of funny. Just laughing. Um, and so just being able to laugh together, to share together. Um, and then also thinking about if you are going on date nights, uh, having a play date, like kids have play dates with their friends. And the funny thing is, is they always like plan kind of what they're going to do and how they're going to have fun. And, you know, adults forget to do this, that that is an important part of the relationship. And so I think just planning this out is having a play date once a week uh, where you get to have fun and whatever that means to you. Uh, this is an opportunity for you to do that. And sometimes it may be, you know, getting out of the house. Sometimes it may be, you know, getting in the hot tub. Sometimes it may be. Well, you know what I think you should do for the audience? Because this what? is what our kids love when you do the fat Albert <laughs> noise. That's when the kids laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember the other part. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to play? It's fat Albert. <laughs> there i mean they love that and it's funny how many times they'll ask they ask for yeah they usually that. ask when there's a bunch of people around we don't really know <laughs> like we'll go to church hey my dad knows how to do that <laughs> we've just met their friends and they're like hey my mom can make this really cool noise <laughs> yeah so uh but the the important thing is is you have to add f u n n to your relationship uh, and you have to make it a habit. Otherwise, you're going to get yelled at uh, when you, you know, over something stupid. And part of it is because you're not having fun or your spouse isn't having fun. <laughs> and so then you just get in trouble. Yell. No, stop it right now. This is going you're taking this too far. N well, I'm sensitive. So, oh. uh, of course, I'm going to take it okay. farther. All right. So um, but yeah. Any uh, final words on fun? No. Come on. 
give us our, our final. Well, what, how about what's an idea of a fun, fun, like a play date? Like no, what, you're telling. I'm asking. No, I like this. No, <laughs> that's not how it works. Well, what but are you've, you've talked about this play date? So let's talk about what we, what, how we lead our couples in this. What are the okay. tools that we give them for their, for this play date? So the the play date is, is could consist of you know you, uh, you know. Maybe it's going shopping, shopping, being in the back of your car, parked up on a hill, a truck, you wait. Maybe it's roping horses Yeah, <laughs> from the head, the feet and the, the legs. Or maybe it's roping your wife. Well, that would probably work, too. Okay. So um, but roping her specifically with her head, her hand, <laughs> her arms and her feet at the same time. So then she can't move. Um, so those are some ways. Other ways could be just going down to the beach you know, getting in the water, swimming, going hot tubbing, skinny dipping at night, uh, you know, whatever. Have fun. Pillow fight. Yeah. Uh, have what up? Music, wrestling. wrestling. Uh, you could pretty much do whatever you want. And the only rule is to have fun. Have fun. Yep. So, well. yeah. So we want to thank you guys for being on here today. Uh, Katie, do you have any final words? Jesse, um, nope, just have fun and F U N. All right. Thank you guys for being on here today. If you're looking to connect with a group of like minded people, join myself and so many others in the Habit Based Lifestyle Secrets group on Facebook, where I will be dropping daily habits to help you live to your full potential. If you want to be one of our next case studies and begin living this habit based lifestyle, Feel free to reach out to me if you have comments, questions, or concerns. Jesse at habitbasedlifestyle.com. Until next episode. <laughs>